A win in Indianapolis, and it elevates your career. We just witnessed the 20th running of the Brickyard 400 from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And from inside the Quicken Loans ESPN Pit Studio, I'm Nicole Briscoe alongside Rusty Wallace, Brad Doherty, and Ray Everham. Perhaps this is something we should have seen coming. We saw qualifying on Saturday for the Brickyard 400. It was Ryan Newman who just edged Jimmy Johnson for the pole. And when we went to the race, those two started on the front row. They really did. You saw Ryan Newman have a great qualifying run. It comes through the gearbox and actually beats Jimmy Johnson down in the turn one. And this was a key part of the race. We knew right then this cat had a real fast hot rod. We also knew not to count out Jimmy Johnson. He led 73 laps today, the most out of any driver. He was darn good. Yeah, throughout the day, he was absolutely just dominant as the day went on. And then we got down to the end of the day, made a few mistakes. Final pit stop, slow. Yeah, they, they went to put a four-tire stop there, had a little trouble on the right rear. It looks like they dropped the lug. Matt Portland and his crew were watching this up and down pit road. And as Jimmy Johnson finished that pit stop, which took to be about 18 seconds, they shot him with the 39 car. And Ryan Newman took two right side tires, put some fuel in it at about six and a half seconds, got him a big lead. That pit stop exchange ended up being about a seven second swing between Jimmy Johnson, who had the lead before the pit stops, and goes to Ryan Newman, who then goes on to victory lane. So get this. Ryan Newman won the 50th anniversary of the Daytona 500. He goes in Sunday to the Brickyard 400 and wins the 20th running of the Brickyard 400. He likes to do things <laughs> on big days, on anniversaries. But what does this mean to him, considering this is a driver who just a few weeks ago was announced he won't be returning to Stuart Haas Racing? Well, Nicole, that's a great question. This is a great race for him to win because drivers that are owners that want to hire Ryan, they want winners, they want consistency. And for him to go out there and grab the pole position for the Brickyard 400 and win the race, this has got to be the biggest race of his career, which we know, but it's great for a job resume also. This guy's looking for a job. Yeah, well, and I think all of that is in Ryan's head, too, as we heard him talk about. He kind of needed that confidence. This is a Hall of Fame-type resume that this young man has. Tremendous race car driver. He will have a great opportunity next year, no matter if he's driving for Stuart Haas or not. He'll be in a, a quality ride next season. And a career day for a kid from Indiana. Grew up in the shadow of this place, racing sprint cars and midgets. This is what the legacy of what Indianapolis is about. So great day for him and his family. You could hear the emotion in Ryan's Newman's, Ryan Newman's voice as he came to take the checkered flag. Becomes just the third pole sitter to win the Brickyard 400. Ryan Newman, a winner in Indianapolis, and his name instantly shoots to the top of the list with racing greats. You win at Indianapolis, it's not just about the trophy, it's about the glory. And today, that goes to Ryan Newman.